Chances are you've never been to a water pollution control facility, and you might not even know what goes on out here. But at the city of Hayward, understand that it's really about two things, health and progress. We're excited to be out here today with some of the remarkable men and women who are going to such extraordinary lengths to preserve public health, protect our delicate shoreline ecosystem, and drive these forward-thinking initiatives ahead. We actually take waste, the worst waste, the most noxious waste, and make energy out of it. And we make green, sustainable, renewable energy. Everyone's now striving for zero net energy. That's so yesterday for us. We're well beyond that. The rest of America is starting to notice. After winning a major EPA award for on-site green power generation, the facility now ranks just ahead of Google as an on-site green energy producer. Still, it's all about public health and environmental protection. Imagine that we take in 12 million gallons of raw sewage a day. If that were untreated, unsterilized, it would all go to the bay. That, that's basically why our activities here are essential. From mechanics to scientists, everyone plays a critical role. There's a lot of new challenges all the time and technology is changing. Right behind me here is one of our technologies. It's recycled water. Right now, this instrument, we are testing for the anionize, include fluoride, chloride, nitrate, nitrite, phosphate. Yeah, doing good for the people. <laughs> That's a good place to work. It's a good place to work. I get a lot of satisfaction from doing my job. Treating the wastewater for a city of 150,000 is no small task, a fact that's not lost on plant employees. Everything that you put into the system ends up here in one way or another. But it's not just what goes down your toilet or bathtub. In the city of Hayward, it's unusual because there's a lot of industry, so we have a lot of industrial waste. We treat on average about 11.1 million gallons a day. They're also looking out for the ratepayers. We're leading the way in all directions. We're uh, leading towards a better future. Unless you have that full performance manager optimizing the place the best it can be, we're not doing a service to the ratepayers to make this place most economical. The plant might be recognized as one of the best of its kind, but don't think for a minute that they're resting on their laurels. We're working on a recycled water facility project. Uh, headworks rehabilitation project, digester improvement projects, and retrofit type projects. So what unites such an eclectic mix of employees? What unites everybody here is a sense of good that we're doing. You know, when we have recruitments, a lot of people come down and take tours, and when they find out what we're doing with our green energy, they almost fall over and say, that's the place I want to work. The work that we do here often goes unrecognized. You know, we're not out in the public a lot. In fact, by definition, our job is well done when you don't see it, don't smell it, you don't hear about it. And we're okay with that. We're right on the bay shore. We look out at the bay every day. We see the wildlife in our plant. And we know the work we do is good, not only for public health, but for the environment. 